So my Goodrich uh, Macau Film Festival, we're midway through. So how's it going? It's going very well indeed. I'm very happy. Um, we've had a great response from audience, local audiences to the films, um, and we've had a wonderful international industry presence. Um, the in f festivals to me are, are pleasing different constituencies. Your sure. international guests, your film guests, your local audiences primarily, the government of Macau. There are lots of people to keep happy, so um, so far so good. So far so good. Um, I want to go back a little bit and, and just talk about you and how you got here and what your uh, trajectory has been so far. Uh, so this is your second year in charge, but you actually arrived fairly late last year. Um, Yes. You didn't have the full, the full year to work on yeah. the second edition of what is already a pretty young festival because it's only the third year. So I'm curious, how, how was last year? How fast did that go? Did you have time to make an impact on the festival? And do you see this one as your really the first <laughs> full festival? I worked really hard on last year's festival, but we started. I started quite late in the year, I would say about... The summer, right? I was watching summer. movies like crazy in the summer, right? Uh, and only really um, got left my previous job technically at the beginning of September, so it was a whirlwind. So this year I've had more time, and and we've certainly had a lot more time to um, think about the program. So I think this is a much more fully realised program. Can you give me an example of something that you've done this year that? is indicative of the direction and the shape that you wanted to give to the Yeah, person. I mean, I, I, I've really spent a lot of time watching Chinese language cinema. Um, we have a wonderful programmer here called Giovanna Fulvi, who's I know, I know. an expert on Chinese cinema. You know, she, she was in China in the 80s. She speaks fluent Mandarin. She knows decades about Chinese cinema. And she's a great um, fan of... of this region's filmmakers and so to work with her and to get to grips on the new films and some of the conditions they're being made in and some of the um, the daring with which the filmmakers are telling stories has been a really personally stimulating for me but I think really important for this event because I think you know we are a Chinese festival and, and we want to embrace that and, and and yet unlike mainland China we have the availability to play films from the rest of the world too, um, with no interference from government, and sure. we can um, we can act as a place of cultural exchange. Right. So this is as much um, about bringing Western films, or well, festival Western films, uh, to to the territory, uh, as it is about showcasing the Chinese language films. Absolutely. I mean, rem remember the language of. Macau is Cantonese, you know, yeah. the, the Mandarin speaking films don't necessarily play here at all, so it's an opportunity to show those films here as well. Right. And this year you have this new section, uh, New Chinese Cinema. Um, can you talk a little bit about that and the selection process? Because it's six films. It's not all from mainland China. In fact, these are Chinese language films, but they come from um, different places. Can you tell me a little bit more about the six authors and yes. what that selection says about it, also Chinese cinema but also the festival and what you're trying to showcase. I think what we wanted to do with New Chinese Cinema was showcase what we thought was six of the best films of the year and really uh, shine a spotlight at them from, from all Chinese speaking territories. So. Um, we've got a film from Malaysia, we have two from Taiwan, we have three from mainland China. Um, none from Hong Kong this year, none from Macau in that section this year, but that's just how the, the, the program fell. Um, and we, we want to shine, shine a light on the films and say, look at the diversity of, of filmmaking that's coming from this region. Um, we've got very established filmmakers in there, like Liu Zhe, who, who made Baby, like... Um, Zhang Wang, of course, who made Up the Mountain, and new filmmakers. You know, there's a there's a hard boiled thriller there. There's a, um, a, a, a a gay comedy 
You know, I mean, that there's a wide variety of films there. We've put together a jury, we want to give a prize there, we want to really use our leverage in the West to say, this is the prize for our Chinese cinema section. Right. Um, and, you know, it's great to go to Cannes and see the new George Anker film, you know, but he's one of the great auteurs in the world. You know, we want to focus a little bit more on the younger generation as well. Because um, this festival is focused around young filmmakers. Yeah. I've only seen two. I've seen Dear X, the Taiwanese uh, sort of family drama. That's uh, the gay themed yeah, comedy. Yeah. Yeah. And Fly By Night, which is the Malaysian thriller. Um, and I was looking forward to Baby and, and the Pluto moment up the mountain. Um, but it seems like a, a, an interesting selection. And uh, I was going to ask about the absence of uh, Hong Kong and but Macau, I know. Macau is a young filmmaking yeah, exactly. culture. You know, when I first suggested it to the to the organisers here, they said, "Oh my God, will there be enough films?" <laughs> and I said, "Believe me, you know, China is so rich in in cinema at the moment. You know, that there are hundreds of films coming out." So, Giovanna and I watched an awful lot, and we talked about an awful lot of films. So. Um, it's given us a great sense of, of what's out there. It's right. given me, she knows already, but it's given me a great sense of what's out there. And you also have, there are more uh, Chinese films uh, throughout the, um, the full festival's lanes. Yeah. Um, there's something <laughs> like, for example, Suburban Birds that I really liked. It's nice uh, and that's in the, in the main, main competition. Because competition. competition is for first and second time filmmakers. Right. It's also, it also has an Asian premiere status. Okay. Um, so we wanted Asian premieres. Now a lot of the films in our new Chinese cinema section have played all over Asia already, okay. and we don't want to be bothered by that. But Suburban Birds, we, we secured the Asian premiere, and therefore I wanted to put it in main competition. I think it's important for us to have a Chinese film in main competition as well. Definitely. Um, and I think that, that filmmaker is really talented. Yeah. And that already got exposure in, in Western... It was in Western Locarno. Locarno, Locarno yeah. yeah. So that's... But it was, um, I, I missed it there, and uh, I finally caught it here. It's I also really like the actor Mason Lee from that film, and I think he's got a real sort of, a big future ahead of yeah. him. Um, so speaking more long-term and vision, again, this is the festival that is finding its, its way, it's finding its um, place in the World Festival, and you are a new festival director still, what do you see as the, like ideally in the medium to long term, the direction that this festival can take? I think in the medium to, in the short term, it's about switching Macau audiences onto movies. It's a very small city, 650,000 residents. And I want them to, to become more familiar with all the films in the festival. Um, I think we've got some marketing challenges here. I think there's a lot to address on a sort of grassroots level. Because I think all the international films work only if you have a dedicated audience. Um, I think it's, it's going to be a great gate, um, it's going to be a great organic place for cultural exchange between East and West. I really, I really believe that because I think so many other events that try to do that are not as relaxed as this. They're not as, um, hopefully as, as, casual as this in a sense you know we don't want to have a formal market or anything like that we just want to um, we just want to bring these communities together I watched an interview yesterday we had with this Chinese actress Yao Chen mm -hmm. who's this remarkably remarkably bright and brilliant woman um, and it was in Mandarin so I was listening on my on my headset and it, you could have been listening to a star in the west you know they're, they're the same as us you know she's got the same concerns any artist has and the same passions and the same interests that you'd see when you interview Kate Blanchett or, or Reese Witherspoon, you know? And, and so I, I sort of had this moment where I was like, you know, it's just, they're the same, it's the same. Right. And sometimes I think the, the Chinese, people think the Chinese film industry is different. It's, it, you know, it's a bunch of really daring and challenging artists operating with a, with a perhaps more challenging system than, than we have in, in Western societies. Right. Um. I also I work for a small festival that has the same challenge on a different scale of being in a touristic place mm. with a very particular emphasis on a certain kind of tourism. And you have the issue of 
do I try to target those people that are not locals, but that they come to this place? But with a, I have a, I have a lot of hard competition in this other thing that yeah. is happening, <laughs> and in Macau it's gambling and the casinos and there's a there's a strong tourism on that. Yeah, I, do, I don't. See do you the... see that as a potential audience? Maybe one day. Maybe one day if we, if we if we play bigger films or or, or bigger Hollywood films or bigger chain. Mm-hmm. I don't I don't know. You know, I mean, I'm very you know this is a. a a festival that was originally started by the Macau government to to serve the Macau population rather than the 35 million Chinese tourists that come in a year mm-hmm. to to go to the casinos or the entertainment resorts, you know, as they're called. So I don't see that as the as the plan. Mm-hmm. However, you know, any festival that can get collateral audiences from from tourism or from Hong Kong or from Zhuhai in China to come here, you know, I think that's going to come organically as the event grows bigger. Sure. Um, Where's your festival? In Switzerland, but it's where people go to ski mostly. Uh, <laughs> during ski season? Yes. Yeah. So it's hard, but uh, you know, you try to provide something different for people. Um, speaking about you, uh, you had this very interesting career so far. And you went from um, journalism, film journalism, to um, protagonist pictures. Um, I'm curious, when, when this opportunity with Macau came along, is that something that was a surprise for you when you took it? Or did you always want to go into that? It was a surprise, actually, that I took it to myself. Yes, I know you, you, you mean you've been involved with... Um, with um, Sarajevo. I've worked a lot as a programmer, yeah. So I assume that was something that you already wanted to do. I just love movies and I've, you know, I've spent many years watching hundreds and hundreds of movies so it's not so different. It's not so different than the, than the curatorial process at a company like Protagonist either. Um, when this opportunity came along, I just I instinctively grabbed it, you know, I thought it offered me multiple opportunities. First of all, to be around um, the Chinese business, to be in, in Asia. Uh, I hadn't spent an awful lot of time in Asia before. Mm-hmm. It allowed me the chance to work directly with audiences here. I've never worked face-to-face with audiences. Um, and I spent a lot of time talking to local people and going and presenting the program to people and um, doing local press. And so that's something that I haven't engaged in before. And it just offered me a whole bunch of different opportunities that right. I kind of grabbed. So is this what you want to keep doing, or would you go back to the business side? I think whatever. Comes. All at the same time, you know. In, in my spare time, I'm doing a bit of producing. You know, I think it's all one big business. You know, this is just a way to showcase movies here to audiences, which is what I was doing at a remove of protagonist. And you know, when I was a journalist, it was all about reviews and and um, industry awareness. So it's all part of the same thing. Thank you.